Hello everyone, welcome back to Scott's Honest Reviews. Today we are reviewing an LED wall clock. So let's get unboxing. So right away we see it is USB powered. So this will just plug into any USB port that you have. If you got an external port or on your computer or laptop, your power bank, um, it can charge it and you can run this pretty much with any USB plug. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys. Oh, this is nice. So that's really nice. Nice design here. So it looks like in here is a battery. These pull out. So you can actually use this as a stand, just like that. Or you can also hang it on the wall. You got two different slots right here for the wall. Let's go ahead and peel off the protective piece that they put on. Look how nice that is. I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So the cable is definitely long enough. You definitely get plenty of cable. And you guys can also buy extensions as well, USB extensions. So you can plug this in and extend it 100 feet if you really feel like it. So let's go ahead and see. It looks like this slides down right in here. So you put that down in here and you press in and now we go ahead and plug this in let's turn it over so you guys can see how it looks as we plug it in all right there we go we're gonna go ahead and turn off some lights here Now you guys might see that it's blinking. That's just because it's doing that on the camera. It's not doing that in person. So yeah, what's nice, you got your temperature right here, humidity percentage right there, and you got your time right here. I assume that probably fluctuated and showed the date as well. So that's pretty cool. Over here, you have all your buttons to set everything. So let's go ahead, turn it this way. The top button up here is gonna be for setting. So we're gonna press set. So it looks like you can have different um, profiles. So if you press set and hold it, you can now pick 24 hours or 12 hours. We're gonna set the time so you can set the time. If it doesn't say PM, that means it's AM. Now it means it's PM. Now we can go ahead and set the date, set the month, and we are good to go. So now we have everything set. Again, you can press it again, go through everything and see. Yeah, I, I really like this. I like the size. So if you wanna see how to change this one, that's gonna be the down arrow, the up arrow would be for here, the down will be for there, and what you do is you just, you can press and hold it and go through, or you can just tap, same with the down arrow for this side, you can press and hold it, it'll go through, so that would be the month, that would be the day, and then when you're ready, you just hit um, the set button. So it's actually really simple. As you guys can see, I didn't even need the manual. So it's very simple to set up. I love it. The color is nice. Um, that's even with some lights on here. So if we go ahead and turn off all of our lights, you can see it even better. It's, it's a really nice reddish orange color. I really like this. Yeah, this is really nice. I, I'm very impressed. 
What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this on the wall in our office. So guys, for more settings, go ahead, you can pause the video. Hopefully it shows up. If it doesn't show up, make your video wide. But there's dimming settings, display modes, uh, notes that they have here. Also alarm settings to turn on and on off. So we're going to actually turn the alarm setting off. So to do that, after LED time is done, press set twice to enter alarm setting. So let's see. Okay, so we pressed it twice and we should be able to, there we go. So we turned it off. Now we're gonna press this again. All right, so now you guys can also switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius as well um, by pressing the down button by pressing the up you can go through different displays and then you just let it go and then it's gonna do different displays so three modes display one the screen automatically displays the time and date cycle so as you guys can see it's automatically going through um, display to default time then switch to the date mode always display the moon let's go ahead and see display number two but yeah this is really nice i'm very happy with it so for the display to the default display time then switch to the date mode. Actually, I think we're going to keep that. Oh, okay. Actually, we're doing display um, number three. I like that one better because it says if you press a button, it will go to here and show you the date. And then in 15 seconds, it'll automatically go back to regular the time yep so yeah we're keeping this mode very happy